Hey guys, Todd from Juno Bait coming at you with today's Catch 365 segment. Super highly requested segment. Okay, that might be a bit of an overstatement, but I'm going to take a shot at showing you how to tie the FG knot. Every time I post a picture of an FG knot, you know, Instagram, put it on the story, things like that, I get a lot of, you know, responses to it. It's a cool looking knot. I learned how to tie it about six years ago. Dave Justice showed me in the shop one time. Now, when Snook Legend Dave tells you about knots or fishing lines, leaders, those kind of things, you listen because he knows. And I watched him tie this knot and I thought, who in the world would bother to tie that? That's crazy. It's not like tying a uni to uni or an Albright that's quick and easy. It's like kind of a pain in the butt. I've gotten better at it. It's a little quicker. We're going to see if that translates over on film or not. I'm not sure it will. This might all be for nothing. So I'm going to give it a shot. But the FG is a great knot for tying fluorocarbon or monofilament leader to your braided line. It provides a very smooth knot. You can easily reel it in and out of most guides. And it's super strong. And it looks cool, too. So, you know, that's got to count for something, right? So the key to tying a good FG knot is being able to put good constant pressure on the braided line in. So I have my snook rod here. And if you don't have a boat, if you're not in a rod holder, one of the easiest ways to do it is to just kind of lay the rod out in front of you and hold pressure on the line. You can put your foot on the rod that will kind of help keep it tight, but any way that's comfortable for you to keep pressure on the braided line. Now you won't really see that translate in the video especially, but know that the key to it is you're putting pressure on the braided line. I'll put the braided line in my teeth and I'm just very going to kind of hold it and keep the tension on that that'll keep the pressure on the braided line when I make the wraps with the leader. And the knot's basically formed by alternating wraps back and forth over top the braid. It's very similar to a Chinese finger torture trick, you know, same kind of deal. Okay, enough silliness. I'm running out of light. Got to get this done. So, you take your leader. This is a knot that you're going to tie with no lure attached. You could do it with the lure attached. It's going to make it more of a pain in the butt. So take a piece of leader. Feel free to tie this one a little longer on your leaders than you might normally because it is such a smooth knot. Like I said, you can reel it in and out. Take your braided line. And you won't have to listen to me talk here in a second. I'm going to get a hold of this and I'm going to start doing this. So you'll hold the line. I'm going to hold the line with pressure on my teeth. You might see part of the rod come into the picture here. I'll hold pressure on it and I'm going to alternate wraps with the braid. So we'll... I have pressure here. I lay the line over the top. This is going to sound great, I know. Over the top, I'm going to take a wrap under towards me. Put a little pressure on it away from me on the opposite side and i'll go back and forth numerous times people ask me how many i don't know just when it looks like i have enough probably around 20. back and forth keep putting constant pressure there kind of snug each one and that'll keep it in line i'm gonna go speed up a little bit And you'll notice my thumb kind of pinches the knot as I tie. That also helps kind of keep that all in order. So good pressure. I'm just alternating sides here. I just kind of watch the knot form. When I feel like I'm getting close to enough wraps, alternating back and forth, get a good look at it, kind of tighten it up. And I'm going to drop the line. I've still got a good hold of everything. Now, you can't see this because my fingers are holding it, but I'm going to take the tag end of the braid and put a half hitch around the leader. And I'll just get a hold of it with my teeth because it helps keep it all orderly. And I'll snug it up. So with that with that half hitch on there, now this knot's basically 
in shape. It's not going to go anywhere on me. I can kind of relax and let go. Take a look before we proceed. Make sure it looks good. Yeah, nice clean wraps up and down the line there with the half hitches holding it. Now to finish it, there's a different finishes. There's a risotto finish and I don't even know what that is. I've never actually watched a video on how you do that. So I just do this. I take and I'm going to do three or four half hitches around both the leader and the braided line. Now snug each one up. And then after I put those on, I'll take and I'll do a finishing knot. So basically I'm going to come over about three wraps through the loop there. Snug that up there. So that knot is basically done there. Now when I'm tying this knot, I'm trying to get situated here. When I'm tying this knot in the shop and I'm not on the bridge at night and rushed, I have two things that I like to do to this. Now, if you are fishing and you're tying this knot, and I can tie this quick in the dark, and if I was fishing, I would just take, trim the tag ends and be done with it and go and fish. When I'm taking some time, especially when I don't think I'm gonna lose my leader, you know, in those situations where you just feel like you're gonna pretty much have that leader, these are two things that I really like to do no one ever told me, I don't know if this is a good idea, but it sure works and it looks good. So I'll take the pliers and I won't trim the tag in super close, but I'll get there a little close. And trim that one. Now if I'm fishing and I'm just like out and I need to go, I can fish it like that. But if, like I said, if I have the time, what I like to do is first... Take a lighter very carefully because nothing worse than losing your train of thought and burning what you just worked. But I uh, take a lighter and just very lightly, quickly hit both tag ends. And that'll just kind of keep the braid from fraying. So I'll just hit it real quick, keep it away from the rest of the knot. And then you might not see this transfer, and this is a careful, be very careful with this one. It's not totally necessary, but it does look good. And then I like to just hit the mono lightly, and it's also a lot easier when you do that inside. When the mono starts to melt, I just push that down so it's got just a little mushroom. And then when you tighten that, it can kind of cinch up against that. So now your braid's not going to want to fray right there. The mono, it's got something to pull on. And then for a triple security i take a, a drop of super glue of zap is my favorite and just i'll take the zap and right near the top of the knot it's not real important that you hit the whole knot but right near the top of the knot i just put a drop or two of zap there kind of let that run down and give it just a sec to set up once it started to set up i'll take and just kind of hit it with my fingers real quick you don't want to do it too quick because it'll stick Kind of roll that a little bit and there it is fg knot hopefully you guys could follow that hopefully that transfers onto film we'll take a look at it before we post it and if you're watching it it worked as always guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video hit the like button give us a comment subscribe all that good stuff we'll see you next time